guys, so this is the Try the World Rome box, and this is actually the fourth Try the World box that I'm putting up on my channel. I have three other Try the World unboxings, which I will link to down below if you're curious to see. Um, so this is a company that sends out boxes, and each one has a theme for a different city, and they're all really cool international cities, and when you order each box, you get to have a sampling of stuff from that particular country, and it's been a lot of fun just like discovering all these different foods and different things that are in each box, and I'm especially excited about this one because I've actually been to Italy, and I know Italy has, you know, a lot of good food, a lot of really beautiful things, so I'm curious to see what is inside this box. And, oh, this is beautiful. It looks like right on the front it says Culture Guide Italy. And it has this beautiful photo. Looks like inside it's got different information about Italy and about Rome. So that's really cool. And then here's, they include this in each one of the boxes. It's a little card that shows you all the things that you're going to be getting in your box. And it looks like this one has a lot of food. So that's pretty exciting. And let's see. I like how these are packaged. It's really fun. And it looks like, I, I see a really big thing first. Let's see what this is. Oh, it's heavy. Um, it looks like this is, let me check the card. Oh, it's coffee. So this is a pretty large, 250 grams, a pretty large container of uh, Mogi coffee. So this must be a uh, popular Italian coffee. I've never tried this before. Let me know in the comments if you guys have tried this kind of coffee. And next I'm seeing, what's this? It's um, crushed spicy chili pepper. So I can add this to various dishes to add some spice. This must be a popular spice to use in Italy. It says it's, um, it comes from the southern toe of Italy. It's considered the best in the world. It can be tossed with pasta, mixed with olive oil, or ground into a powder. Ooh, yum. Oh, what's this? This is a really pretty little jar. Oh, this is capers. Um, it says it's salted capers. These are grown in southern Italy and particularly on the island of Pantelleria. Wow. It says they've been used as far back as 3000 BC. Well, that's crazy. It's a really nice little bottle, though. It's really cute. Oh, there's a lot, of, a lot more stuff in here. Let's see. This is artichoke pate. Oh, that sounds pretty delicious. It's um, from a hilltop village in the Molise region of Italy. It um, is made from the best marinated artichokes. You can put it as a snack spread on bruschetta and add an authentic Italian twist to your meals. What's inside this bag, I wonder? paper bag in here. Oh, this looks like little candies. Oh, these are Lazzaroni. It says the recipe of these Amoretti cookies is a secret preserved by Lazzaroni since 1718. Wow. So it says, it says they called these cookies amaretti for the word amare for love. These look, these are really cute. I like the little wrappings on them. What else? Ooh, this looks like candy. It says Leone. Um, this is a pastille candy and it's been in Northeast Italy since 1857. Wow, these are all like super traditional um, Italian food. And it says, um, the orange drops slowly dissolve on the tongue, delivering aromatic citrus essences to your palate. It sounds really good. It says, Breath of Sicily. Okay, and this last item, what is this, huh? 
I have to figure out what this is. I'm actually not sure. Oh, this is anchovies. Oh, wow. So candy and then also canned meat. <laughs> it says, especially in Southern Italy, anchovies are a staple food, high in antioxidants and full of protein. Try these on toast with good olive oil or add it to a sauce and see if you like it. It's preserved fish. Wow. It's pretty crazy. So there's a huge variety of stuff in here. Anything from anchovies to candy, cookies, hot pepper, coffee. It's, wow, there's just so much stuff in here. And I think I've mentioned in my other videos, I like the fact that each thing is in a pretty little jar or a pretty little box. So if there's anything that you don't want to eat yourself, you could just give it as like part of a gift basket to someone else. And everything just sort of like stands alone in these adorable little jars or boxes. So that was my Rome Try the World box. I'm trying to include everything here for you guys to see. The little book, the coffee, and all the other goodies over here. So it looks like this box was entirely edibles, which I cannot complain about. I love getting stuff to eat, and it's so much fun to sample these different foods from different countries. So I will put the Try the World information down in the info box if you want to check that out. And like I mentioned, I will include links to all the other Try the World box videos in case you want to see what the other cities are and what are in the other boxes. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. Bye.